Hey, sub collective. Welcome back to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic ass clowns. So we're about to expose the karmic clowns that could be in your energy. So please keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with your energy. Only take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let the shit go, all right? This could be a karmic family member. This could be a karmic friend. This could be a karmic partner, a karmic ex-partner, ex-wife, ex-husband, baby mama, baby daddy. This could be a karmic neighbor, a karmic co-worker, okay? Anybody in your life can be a karmic. If they come into your life to sabotage you, hurt your feelings, steal from you, lie on you, cheat on you, uh, they're karmic. Okay, anyone that comes in your life um, to slow you down for whatever your purpose here on earth, that's a karma. Okay, so you're just going to find out. I see there's somebody out there, you're gifted, you're either, um, there's some artists out there, sketch artists, painters, um, I hear art gallery. Music artists, sculptors, artists. Some of you do draw art or something to do with a kid's place. Something. Some of you can, your karma can be treating you like a child. Okay, Holy Spirit, show me the energy. Um, Surrounding the collective and the clarity and understanding to give to their business message. Energy vampire. Stalking energy, taking screenshots. Someone not resting, not getting enough sleep. Not not protecting your crown shot. Someone sitting around wasting time waiting on somebody to come and be intimate with them. Wasting your time. The whole, the whole, um, everything is surrounding this energy vampire. Now this is somebody who was sent into your life. Like I said, you have some sort of gift. Okay, you see how he got that ball of fire in his hand? That's your happiness and your sexual creativity. That's your sacral chakra or your, your solar plexus. Okay, he trying to get you all up in his head. See all this yellow and gold up here? This is your sacral chakra. Your sexual pleasure and your happiness. With your citrine, a citrine. You may need a citrine. This person may try to take away your happiness, your creativity, or they're trying to drain you during sex. When you have intimacy with this person, don't you feel like you're tired? Um, you at home, after they then gave it to you, you know, you all up under the covers, not wanting to get up and do what you're supposed to do. Yeah, they were sent to do that to you, to make you tired so you wouldn't, and they won't even cuddle with you. They'll get up and they leave because they were sent by the devil and they did what they supposed to do. Now, with this coming in reverse, they're not doing this no more. You're not allowing them to do this no more. Okay? And since you're not allowing them to do it, if you have them on your social media, they're stalking you. They're taking screenshots of your pictures. Now, what they doing with these screenshots, we got to find out because I never thought of that. What are they doing with the screenshots? Why are they taking screenshots and what are they doing with them? What are they doing with the screenshots, Holy Spirit? What are they doing? What are they doing with the screenshots?
Something to do with some screenshots now. Now, but this person, for some of you, this is a different person that's taking screenshots. For some of you, it's it's the person who's the energy vampire that you're having sex with. Others of you, this is somebody that that's that's uh that's taking screenshots of you because you have some sort of hidden trust fund. Okay, you have some sort of money. And and they're trying to watch you to see if you know about it. Okay. This person, the way they're taking screenshots, is like they they envy your, your 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 hidden trust fund. Your trust fund baby. And and they envy that. They're mad at it. somebody that's that's taking pictures of you. Now, for some of you, this is this is your lover. Others of you, this could be somebody else. Okay. This person is can be gay for pay. Or they could be a male escort. Or this person could be taking your pictures and trying to sell some, some of your pictures or do some shit online. He's a low down motherfucker if they do some shit. And I see somebody taking a face picture, but people know that's fake. These motherfuckers, these these karmics be doing some stupid shit. You know, some of them went to the um I'm gonna have to do a reading about this on my on this channel. It was a dumbass karmic. Bought a motherfucking grocery store chicken. And like tried to do some spell work with it. Only spell work you can do with a grocery grocery store chicken is make some sort of concoction. But they used a uh, they was trying to use that grocery store chicken for a ritual. The chicken already dead, gonna ask. <laughs> that chicken's farm owner sacrificed him. Okay. Now, if somebody out here this gay for pay person, it could be this person who's taking screenshots of you. I feel the energy of people watching you. And some of you, this person who leaves you and you're intimate with them and they um leave you tired after you're, you have intimacy with them, you need to get an amethyst and the black obsidian so this person can't steal your energy. If you're going to still continue to fuck with them, you better protect your energy, okay? And if you're tired and feeling like you don't want to get up, take your salt bath. As you see, after you watch this video, if you have salt and you have a bathtub, you go and um, pour a half a cup of salt in your bath. And just like you listening to me, if you're listening on the phone, take your phone in the bathroom, light a white candle. And um, listen to some affirmations. I keep saying I'm going to start pinning them to, to my videos. So all you have to do is click on it and it'll take you to a video that's either breaking hexes and curses and stuff like that. Or I will send you to um, Pastor Fernando Perez. He's the number one minister that I listen to. His prayers are so powerful. So I'll put either a link to him or a link to break curses and hexes. Okay. So that's all I'm going to tell you for this reading. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.